Let's have a look at how to join two ropes together securely using the deliberately capsized version of the Carrick Bend. To start a Carrick Bend, take one of your ropes, turn it around into a loop and create an underhand crossing point so that its working end passes under the standing part. We then take your other rope and we're going to pass that under the loop so that it bisects the loop on the bottom side, both sides on the bottom side. Then take the working end of the white rope and we pass it over the standing part of the blue rope. We're then going to pass that working end of the white rope under the working part of the blue rope. We have this so far. We're then going to take the working end of the white rope and pass it over the blue rope. We can start to see that carrick bend shape now. We're then going to go under the white rope with the working end of the white rope. And to finish, that working end of the white rope will go back over the blue rope. So if we start to tighten this up, we'll see that famous decorative form of the carrick bend start to appear. I'm just pulling on the working ends and the standing parts. And we see that really decorative carrick bend. But we're going to continue on to the deliberately capsized version. So we have these standing parts and working parts in diagonal opposites. So it's very symmetrical at this point. So I'm going to grab the standing parts now and I'm going to roll the knot onto its side so you can see the working parts cross over as I tighten. They start to scissor across and now flip over. So they are now on opposite sides to where they started. Tighten the knot up here, dress it a little bit as I go. Get a good result. You want to capsize and tighten this version of the knot now. You don't want to leave it as that decorative form and let the load capsize the knot. And by doing it yourself now, you avoid any uncontrolled slippage. Don't let the load get it to this point. So if we look at the Carrick Bend now, you can see this is what it looks like from the side. The top. Have a good look at that. The opposite side, very symmetrical. But this is the version that is most secure. We've deliberately capsized it. Now, if you have a look at the bottom, you'll see that the working ends are diagonally opposed. This is often spoken about when tying the proper version of the carrick bend for joining two ropes together. To pull the carrick bend apart, just look for these bars that come off the working parts and start to pinch them together. So that was the deliberately capsized but quite secure Carrick Bend. Mm -hmm.